Now that we have finished reviewing some basic physiology in the previous video, let's finish this section of anatomy and physiology by talking about the anatomical locations of auscultation on a person's chest. When listening for heart sounds, there are generally four to five locations where you will be listening to. These locations correspond to the four valves of the heart and are anatomically labeled here. This is the aortic area, the pulmonary or pulmonic area, the tricuspid area, and the mitral area. The fifth area of auscultation is herbs point, or herbs area, located here. This is a popular and acceptable way of describing the location of where you will be hearing heart sounds, but a better way, and my preferred way of describing and labeling auscultation points, is by their anatomical positions on the chest. With the apex here, and the base of the heart here, labeling by anatomical location lets you explicitly describe where you are hearing certain heart sounds. The difference is that instead of referring to this area as the aortic area, you report it as hearing a sound at the right sternal border at the second right intercostal space, the pulmonic area as the second left intercostal space, herbs area located at the third intercostal space at the left sternal border, the tricuspid area as the left lower sternal border at the fourth intercostal space, and the mitral area as the apex located at the fifth intercostal space at approximately the midclavicular line. This naming convention also gives you the benefit of expanding your labeling areas to other areas of the chest, such as the parasternal border, where you will sometimes hear heart sounds in people with cardiomyopathies or in certain congenital heart diseases. Additionally, some people may prefer describing location this way because some heart sounds may be loudest in other locations, and labeling areas such as aortic or tricuspid may not apply in specific circumstances such as in people with enlarged hearts or in people with dextrocardia. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications and we'll let you know as soon as more videos are ready for you to watch and enjoy. In the meantime, you can visit our channel to view more medical education videos or visit one of our many social media accounts to explore different ways you could creatively learn medicine.